guys, so I just got up. Um, I almost fil filmed this in my bathroom, but I figured that would be a little weird, <laughs> maybe. So I just put on my sweater that I got from Delia's last year. Almost a whole year since I last got it. I um, got it on Black Friday. It was an even on sale, but I really liked it. So, yay. I actually saw this sweater um, not too long ago. Sorry for my tummy. This goes up a little. Um, not too long ago in Bob's and like the clothing store Bob's and it was on sale for like six bucks. I was so pissed because I paid like 20, not 20, like 42 bucks for this. Ugh, whatever. So it's been a really long time. Sorry. Um, I am definitely gonna get, gonna get back into making videos. I was just been so stressed out. It's my senior year at high school. I'm applying for colleges. Um, right now I've applied to one. <laughs> And I did early action for that, so I'm really hoping I get in because I don't want to go to any other college than what I okay, already applied so. for. Fall, just like a lot of other people on YouTube, like it's their favorite season. And it's definitely my favorite season. Um, great deals happen from like all like the summer clothes and stuff. And nope, oh, my tummy again. <laughs> and um, so, and then I got like the fall pumpkin drinks come out and definitely like... My favorite seasonal drinks are definitely, oh yeah, mint chocolate. Mint hot chocolate is absolutely delicious. I haven't had this in so long and then like, who was it? It was Dunkin Donuts that came out with it and so I was just like, I need to drink this obviously because it's, it's new. Why not? So, if... We fell in love with mint hot chocolate. Yay. And then, obviously, like, the pumpkin coffee. You can't go wrong with this. It's pumpkin. Pumpkin everything, man. Like, I make pumpkin bread. I'm going to make a lot of pumpkin stuff. Oh, you know what's really good? Chai tea muffins. Random, but for the season, really, really good. So, yeah. And... I went to Boston on Saturday to see the tree lighting, like, yeah, lighting, um, in Faneuil Hall, and so that was awesome, um, I went last year with my mom, and so this year was really cool, we got up pretty close, and they, like, synchronized, like, all the trees to go to, um, the Hallelujah song, <laughs> and so... It was awesome. We went into a couple stores there. I had a card for Victoria's Secret to get 10 bucks off, and I had one for um, Aerie, but I didn't use my Aerie one yet because the Aerie that was there did not really have, like, accessories, and so I didn't need, like, anything, really, besides, like, a new scarf, so whatever. I'll go back. I work a lot, so I'll be in the mall a lot where I have an airy. But something not near my house is Urban Outfitters. I don't really even know where there's another Urban Outfitters besides Faneuil Hall. And so, um, which is pretty, you know, it's not like, oh, I'm going to go there and just come right back home. No, it's not that, not that close. So I went to Urban Outfitters and I got this really awesome tank top. This is heavy metal. Ah, has the lightning bolts and the devil horns, and ugh, I love it. I'm a huge, huge fan of heavy metal. Um, I have like the whole DVD on like the anthropology of heavy metal and how it evolved. It's really great. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan. So as soon as I saw this, this was like thirty dollars, but it was on sale for fourteen ninety nine. Which if I went on Black Friday. It would have been like seven bucks, but I'm not going there on Black Friday whatsoever because I do have to work and I'm just going to be farting around my own wall. <laughs> so I'm not going to be doing that. Um, so it was the last one, so I figured I'd get it now and it has like the cut off sleeves and it was the last one. So I figured it's totally me, you gotta get it, oh my god. My mom was like, okay. So he hurt my, my own money, so then definitely... Definitely more of my favorites. Um, the Big T's from Lush. I'm a huge, 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 huge Lush fan. 
pat I haven't been for like maybe two years now. So that's the big tease. It is a styling gel and it really it's like really awesome. Like it just gives you like just enough. If you just put it in you don't tease, it gives you like a good amount. Um especially if you do blow dry but you don't have to. Um this is going away I believe after the holidays and you see a jiggle. Um it smells so freaking good. I don't even know. Fragrant locks, yeah. It smells wicked freaking good. But it's not too much that it's going to interfere with anything that you do put on. But it is really nice to have it, like, in your hair. And it's moisturizing, too, because, you know, all the stuff from Lush, it's natural ingredients with safe synthetics that are in foods. So it's nothing you need to worry about instead of, like, harsh chemicals from other volumizing things that are like, yeah, and then your hair's just like, eh. you're killing me. Don't want to do that. So, mm, mm hmm yeah, my hair. So then there's the Emotional Brilliance. They have, like, the whole, like, Emotional Brilliance line, and this is the powder. You see it's pink, but it's actually a translucent powder. It doesn't really cover anything but it does help to kind of blend things in a little bit and it, you know mattify you a bit more and it's really awesome um the powder that I used before this one was the Paldeo I think it's pronounced it's in uh Sally Beauty Supply and I really liked it it had a tint to it but the cap just like came off there was no screw, there's no click, there's nothing you can do with it unless you like tie something around it. But it was extremely annoying because one time it burst in my backpack and I had to get a new one. So then as soon as mine ran out, my new one, I got emotional brilliance and this like screws on and off and I really really like it. It's beautiful and it really helps. That's jojoba oil so it goes right into your skin and it you know helps balance the oils. Man, I used to be using, let me show you, I still have the container, good job, good job me for not throwing it out. Uh, it's a Super Bomb, uh, Bevelish Bomb BB Triple Functions. This is a really good product, um, like, it is really good, um, not too, too much on coverage. It does come out a little gray once you put it on, but then it, like, goes to your skin tone, which is pretty rad. So that's it. Ooh, got this from Amazon. It's like 15 bucks. And then for like the same price, I switched over to um, the color supplement. This one is in light yellow. And it's really awesome. It blends really well. It um, covers more than the BB cream, but not too, too much. It doesn't really feel like anything else on your face. It's very smooth. Especially when you use things that exfoliate, it really lays on right. Like, when you take care of your skin, like, everything else just kind of works better. So, so I've noticed that when um, girls have a lot of acne, they put on a shit ton of foundation. And it's not, like, it makes everything look more purple. And it's just uh, not working out too well. I had really really bad acne last year my junior year it was wicked bad um not a lot of people remember it though because I worked so dang hard on getting rid of it I had cystic acne where it was like basins of oil underneath my skin so if you guys want me to do a video on how I got rid of that like I probably will just be doing it anyways so because <laughs> it was quite the journey right there and some really good information I could give you so, um, so yeah, this is the light yellow one. And it's lasted a really long time. Like, I've hardly made a dent in it, and I've had it for a couple weeks, so. And I, like, use it every day as well. And this has fresh rose petal, which rose, anything with rose in it is really good for calming down any redness. Um, some soya oil, rice bran oil, some talc to help absorb. So it's really awesome. And then I finally, finally, finally got my, like, one of my favorite knot wraps from them. Where this way. Oh, yeah. Santa's beard. Oh. And then you flip it around. 
I'm probably going to wear this like on the last day before Christmas. It's Santa's hat. <laughs> I absolutely freaking love this. It's so adorable. Like I plan on even like maybe like wearing it around my neck and have it like as a little ascot. Um, it'd be really cute. So I'd like to do that. And... <sighs> I love, I love the eggnog, so, I, uh, from a refrigerator, oh yes, um, got out my new pumpkin eggnog, I never tried this before, I tried it last night, mm. freaking delicious, I really like it, and my dad likes it, cause usually I just go for it, you know, like the normal one, but nope, limited edition, which, something like this means it's gonna come back next year, but hey, <laughs> um, I love getting things that are kind of like out just for the season and stuff. Um, I've been really, really, really loving like Lush's new products. Hold on one second. Woo! Okay. Um, like their limited stuff is like Let the Good Times Roll, which is a cleanser and has popcorn in it. I love this stuff. And then. Midnight Massage I've not used yet, but I've used it on myself in the store. And then Twilight is freaking beautiful. So yeah, I'm going to have to edit the crap out of this video. I did have other videos up, but um, my editing system wasn't working right. Like, wouldn't let me do things, and I was really sad. So if I, if I have to upload this unedited, that's 12 minutes and counting. So... I'm gonna go, it's like the day before Thanksgiving, um, I need to clean my room, my room's pretty cool, look at all the shit that I have on my walls, like come on, so much, and then on the side, so much more, oh my god, um, yeah, I got a new phone, I'll show you that the next time filming on it right now. I really like I'm really liking the quality right now. So good. Okay. Alright, I'll see you guys soon. Um I'm off from school this week, so thank the heavens. Alright. Bye guys.